You hiding from me? I'm fixing some equipment. Oh, please, Ed. I know that you were avoiding me last time I came here. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Come on, Kenny's not that good a liar, and he told me... He told me about the Skywriter. All right, fine. And you're here because... I feel like I just had the same conversation with Nick. Yeah, I'm actually really kind of busy here. Sorry to waste your time. And thanks for all your help there, Ed. You're angry at me? You're angry? Why are you angry at me? Why are you angry at me? Because I show up at your school and you immediately assume I'm there to ask you out. That's arrogant. You're arrogant. It must be nice to be that arrogant. You were planning to ask me out. You didn't know that. You did not know that and yet you immediately assumed it. What kind of person assumes something like that? You know, that's just, it's incredible, you know? It's really, it's just Ed, unbelievable. Ed, you showed up in my classroom in a suit of armor to ask me out. You made a video of yourself singing to ask me out. I break up with my boyfriend. I don't think it's a crazy assumption to think you might ask me out again. You know what, Carol, when you assume... You know, assume nothing. I was right. You were going to ask me out. You hired a skywriter. Fine. I hired a skywriter. Forgive me. I hired a skywriter to ask you out. Oh, of all the horrible things to do to someone. You're not thinking clearly. No, Carol, I wasn't thinking clearly, okay? You said so yourself. This was never about you. It was because I was messed up over a divorce. Well, I did something impulsive and stupid. Very stupid. You're arrogant. I'm arrogant? I'm arrogant? Yeah. How am I so arrogant? You How are am arrogant. I so arrogant. You're the one who is arrogant because you pretend to be Mr. Lovable Nice Guy and you're not. You're not. In reality, you come into town and you tell me, Carol, you're in the wrong relationship. You don't know me, but I'm Ed Stevens and I'm adorable. What kind of person assumes that? You know what, Carol? You don't have to worry about that ever again, okay? Because the days of Ed Stevens putting on suits of armor and hiring skywriters and making videotapes to ask out Carol Vessie are over. They are so over and you never have to worry about that ever again. Fine. 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 I am leaving now. I'm fixing a bowling pin setting machine.